trouble. Petri dish boil and Petri dish bubble. Let's see. Massive global economic failure. More so here, less so there. Counterpointed with continuing revelations of massive financial malfeasance by the major players. Check. Zato. Zionist Atlantic Terror Organization is in Chicago. And so is Rom. Anti Emmanuel is in situ at the big board. Check. The big bass drums of war are booming as the false flag is looming. Check. MEK operators are in place. Well, the man in blue is in your face. Check. Yes, something is up. All the highly placed Zaya ogres are talking about Iran's last chance to stop doing what they're not doing or face the wrath of those who are doing what they say they're not doing. Check. Check and check. Same sex mate. Once again, the image of the horny goats which piss all over themselves prior to coitus raises its hoary head. It's not sex that has the cannibals all in a fever. It's the smell of blood. They want it so bad that they literally can taste it. These prehistoric sharks in the water, these bipedal piranha, tearing, rending, and burning. Yes, precious, that's what they likes. Visions of metaphorical sugar plums dance in my head. I have a dream. I'm dreaming of a secret weapon that leaves a sea of fused glass right where it ought to be. I must apologize for that brief interlude of a red-hazed insanity. The world's gone mad and there are none of us untouched. I dream of the earth swallowing them. I dream of the plug being pulled on their powers and deceptions. I dream of them running into the desert and crying out for the stones beneath their feet to cover them, for the mountains to fall on them. I dream of a face of wrath confronting them no matter which way they turn. I dream of surgical precision that finds its way into every boardroom and bank, every institution where prostitution is the commerce of the day. I dream of them being marched up the 13 steps dressed in fishnet stockings and plastic miniskirts. I dream of a man with a scythe whose features are concealed beneath a hood who pulls from his voluminous sleeves a parchment upon which a litany of their crimes are inscribed. I dream of the words taking voice from an invisible source and thundering in the air with steroidal THX. I dream of wild-eyed beings on snorting horses galloping out of rents in the fabric of this twisted reality. I see the gleams dancing on their metal breastplates I hear them crying out in an unknown tongue. I see the earth opening and the faces of thousands upon thousands of animated dead crying out for their company, like the final scene in Ghost. I can smell the foul eau de crypt wafting from their reeking forms. I can sense their malevolence for all living things nanotech maggots from the realm of Thulu climb in and out of their empty eye sockets along with dung beetles and carrion lizards. They know their end approaches, but from where? Half of them denies this inescapable truth and half of them knows that something has gone terribly wrong and it's not just them. Their apologists wring their hands Masters, what can we do? We sold out our nations and gave you our children as blood sacrifices. Are you not pleased? What is the matter? Please take my wife. All 
All the signs indicate some kind of mayhem is on the near horizon, and that means in the next few weeks and days. I suppose this all deserves a kind of bent out of shape admiration. They just keep on keeping on, killing, stealing, and raping household pets. If there's something nasty and infernal that they can get up to, they are already working on it. There's something sexual in it all. It's that kind of sexual excitement where the passion is ratcheted up so high that something unintended is guaranteed to happen. It could be something like that premature ejaculation thing that makes serial killers a little angrier than they already are. Well, these are serial killers. It could be just one of those things where it isn't going to work unless metal skewers and painful restraints are employed. Given that perversion is their normal, it's all too likely. I can see them masturbating over the images of burned and smoking forms of Palestinian children and, well, any children they have the means and opportunity for. The motive is long-standing already. Does some of this seem a little over the top or a lot over the top. It isn't. In fact, it is worse than what is being said here. Anyone with the impetus to do a little research can come up with crime after crime, some of them on a ginormous scale. The body of evidence covers more square acreage than the AIDS quilt. Only a very few people are saying anything about it because those in a position to reach a wider audience do not have the necessary confirmation that someone has their back. And they wouldn't be saying it very long in certain locales where, which was the point of taking control of the media in the first place. The acquisition of so many critical things has been accomplished because they really is a conspiracy. You can see it playing out in real time and because they control the currency printing presses. Amstel Rothschild's quote says it all. But you can't say these things and shouldn't even call attention to them because it's anti-something or other. Even though they... Here comes the shadow masons and illuminati that are pulling all of the strings of the hapless pawns. Wait a minute, who founded the illuminati? I give up. None of it is in my hands anyway. I'm just an observer passing through. Got no plans in coming back here, especially given the time frame. They are marching to perdition. We be marching somewhere, nowhere, fast. They are leading themselves into the desert after having created a desert. They'll be getting vinegar from rocks and manna from scorpions. The race is on. Will they plunge the whole world into a global conflict? Or will it be stopped by someone or something? Will those in a position to turn upon them do so? What is going on, and who is doing it, is in no doubt. I can hear the sighs from the Kumbaya crowd. Please, can't we talk about something else? Talking about something else is like wishing to be somewhere else, while somewhere else is being wiped out by the ones we are talking about. It must be nice and convenient for the New Age crowd in their solid awareness of Advaita. You can walk around in your fantasy landscapes, unified with everything and money in the bank. No one on that circuit talks about these things because they won't let them on the circuit. No one talks about these things on stage because they won't let you on stage except sometimes some people do. The thing about awakening is that it forces certain considerations before your eyes. It is the purpose of the awakening to begin with, 
to bring your attention to certain things. This is another reason for that race against time. Meanwhile, their financial voodoo has got Baron Samedi tripping around behind the walls and the dropped ceilings and making things hot for the ones who brought it all about. What's going on behind the scenes is way more dramatic than what is happening in front of you. There's a force loose in the moment that is pulling levers and pushing buttons that vested interests don't want pulled or pushed. There's a joker in the deck and the joker works for the big dealer who owns the house that we play cards in. Everything is arranged for the purpose of demonstration and an unfortunate demonstration it is in various locations where the demonstration is committed to go down a particular way. About now the finger pointing is going to start in earnest. Sewer rats are scrambling all over the place trying to squeeze just a little more out of the system before they hightail it out of town. They're in the position of a monkey with his hands in the vase holding on to the avocado or mango that he wants and can't let loose of. In the apocalypse there is a point where things begin to speed up and the curve of descent becomes much sharper. There is where we are. Things can be held together with chewing gum and duct tape for only so long. Sooner or later, the whole stinking mess comes apart. Unnoticed by many, a new world is emerging for the purpose of continuance. In those cases where continuing is in the cards, if there were an Ides of May, we would be entering them now. The next three weeks should see the world transformed in all kinds of ways. I'm no prophet and there's no great matter. Still, I must say that the multiplicity of signs are pretty intense. That little Kadima maneuver certainly smacks of a sooner rather than later timetable. Of course, the longer you wait, the better defense are the people you are intending to destroy for no legitimate reason. Then again, I am certain there are things the aggressors don't know. Oh, there are a whole lot of things they don't know and there's all the scurrying around in haste. As if so many things had to get done real soon. Something to think about when you're alone in your room.